Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the SJVN Limited Q4 FR24 Earnings Conference Call hosted by Alara Securities Private Limited. As a reminder, all participants' lines will be in the listen-only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchdown phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Rupesh Sankhe from Ilara Securities Private Limited. Thank you and over to you, sir. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, on behalf of Ilara Securities, we welcome you all for the Q4 FI24 conference call of SJVN. I take this opportunity to welcome the management of SJVN, represented by Mr. Sushi Sharma, sir, Chairman and Managing Director. Uh, congratulations and all the best, sir, for new role. And uh, we also have Mr. A.K. Singh, Director of Finance. We will begin the call with a brief overview by the management, uh, followed by Q&A session. Uh, I will now hand over the call to Sushil Sharma, sir, for his opening remarks. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. A very good afternoon to all of you present here. I am accompanied by Sherry Akleshwar Singh, Director of Finance of our company, I am extremely happy to share that with the latest commissioning of our two projects, Gujarai Solar Project 50 Megawatt and Raghunesra Solar Project 100 Megawatt in quarter 4 of our financial year 23-24, with this our installed capacity stands at 2,377 Megawatt. The 50 Megawatt Gujarai Solar Project, situated in the state of Uttar Pradesh, will generate 107 million units of energy per annum. The power from this solar project is being sold to Uttar Pradesh Power Corporation Limited. We have also commissioned Raghunesra Solar Project 100 megawatt in the state of Gujarat with the capacity to produce 252 million units of energy per annum. The power from this solar project is being sold to Gujarat Urja Vikas Nigam Limited. Thus, in terms of these latest additions, 150 megawatt more power has been added which will add approximately rupees 99 crores to our revenues per year. I am happy to inform that in the month of March 2024, our Honorable Prime Minister of India dedicated four of our projects, namely 75 megawatt Parasan solar power project, 75 megawatt Gurra solar power project, 50 megawatt Gujarai solar power project, and 60 megawatt Natwar Mori hydro project to the nation and also laid the foundation stone of three projects of uh, namely 382 megawatt Sunni Dam hydroelectric project, 15 megawatt floating solar power project in the state of Himachal Pradesh and 70 megawatt of solar project in the state of Assam. Also during quarter 4 of financial year 2023 and 24, SJBN through its subsidiary has bagged five solar projects with a capacity of 2,252 megawatt through open competitive bidding process. Giving you a brief preview of our project. Projects as on date, 11 projects of 2,377 megawatt and two transmission lines are under operation. Four hydro projects of 1,558 megawatt and one thermal power project of 1,320 megawatt and 12 solar projects of 2,048 megawatt are under construction. We are excited to inform that SJVN Green Energy Limited, SGL, a wholly owned subsidiary of SJVN, has formed a joint venture named SJEL Assam Renewable Energy Limited with Assam Power Distribution Company Limited for execution of 1000 megawatt renewable energy projects in Assam. The other JV with Mahajanko, Maharashtra State Power Generation Company Limited, for execution of 5000 megawatt of renewable energy projects is also under process of formation. As a first among PSUs, SGBN has also secured rupees 10,000 crore construction line of credit facilities for its upcoming renewable energy projects from a group of leading domestic and international financial institutions. In the recent past, Government of India has also launched PM Surya Ghar Muft Bijli Yojana, which aims to provide free electricity to 1 crore households in India. We are extremely happy to share that towards this scheme, SGVN has been allotted three states, namely Himachal Pradesh, Punjab and Arunachal Pradesh. SGVN has also been assigned 
the responsibility of installation of roof prop solar system on government buildings and 18 ministries have also been allocated to us in this regard you must also be aware that sjwin has been designated as one of the renewable energy implementing and agencies ria by ministry of new and renewable energy mnre to meet the 500 gigawatt target by 2030 during financial 2023 and 24 sjwin has floated tenders of 9.9 gigawatt out of target given to us of 10 gigawatt capacity the ppa and psa for 2360 megawatt has been has already been signed with developers and distribution companies i am also happy to share that sjwin is conferred with scope excellence award in institutional cap category in january 2024 for the commitment of the company in the growth of power sector for rapid expansion and capacity addition journey also sgl a wholly owned subsidiary of sjwin one prestigious diamond award for large scale solar project developer of year in uttar pradesh in the psu category during uttar pradesh annual solar awards held at surya kon lucknow 2024 in february 2024 i once in again retreat that sjwin is moving forward to achieve our vision of installing 25000 megawatt portfolio in the operation by 2030 and 50000 megawatt by 2040 thank you very much thank you we will now begin the question and answer session anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on your touch tone telephone if you wish to remove yourself from the question queue you may press star and two participants are requested to use handset while asking a question ladies and gentlemen we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles The first question is from the line of Mohit Kumar from ICICI Securities. Please go ahead. Hello. Yeah, hey. Good morning. Uh, sorry, good evening, sir. And good congratulations on a decent set of numbers. Sorry to interrupt you, sir. May I request you to use the handset, please? Is it better now? Hi. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, hi. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, sir. My first question is on the on the renewable uh, portfolio. Can you just let us know what is the operating asset as of now, and what is the the uh, what is the, uh, the the amount of projects which are under pipeline, and uh, any asset where you have won the uh, won the bid? Yes. Uh, hello. Yes. Uh, Mr. Moit, I am a consulting director of finance. Uh, presently, you might be knowing that we are uh, operating four renewable project uh, under uh, SJVN. Kiribati 47.6 megawatt, Sarla 50 megawatt, Charanka 5.1 uh, 5.6 megawatt, and uh, one uh, solar project at uh, Nagpur Jati 1.3 megawatt. Besides that, uh, we are operating four projects in SGL. Uh, 75 megawatt Prashan project uh, and uh, 75 megawatt uh, Gujarat project uh, and 50 megawatt Gurha project plus 100 megawatt Raghunsera we are operating. Mm -hmm. okay. What is the pipeline, sir? Pipeline. <laughs> Total pipeline, including the including L1, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I am giving you. Yeah. Uh, under construction is two uh, zero four eight megawatt. Hello. Hello. Two zero four eight megawatt. I think number is on the lower side, isn't it? I thought numbers must be around. Three to four gigawatt. Yeah, it is total is seven point two gigawatt. Out of that, two zero four eight uh, is under construction, uh, and balance is under uh, different stages award. So, so, so what is the capacity? Seven hundred seventy-seven megawatt is under the process of award. Understood, sir. So what is the timeline? Or what is the capacity you are looking to install or commission? 
in renewables in this fiscal and next fiscal? Next. This fiscal and next fiscal. Uh, so this fiscal and next fiscal. Uh, next, next fiscal. This uh, total capacity uh, of about 2048 megawatt is coming in the 2425. Uh, and the balance uh, uh, quantity of 4777 megawatt will be commissioned in the next fiscal, 2526. Understood, sir. What is the plan to is any plan to monetize the your your green energy uh, SPV? Uh, in fact, uh, we are planning to have some QIP uh, in current year, and we are in the process of initiating the approval. And thereafter, uh, we will be almost uh, 10 to 15 percent equity of SGL will be uh, offered to the public. Understood. Sir. Last, my last question is: so What is the uh, the the timeline of Buxar and Nepal? Has it changed or it's been the same? Mm -hmm. Regarding Buxar thermal power jet, uh, one unit uh, one unit we are going to target in uh, quarter three and uh, four, uh, second unit in quarter, uh, quarter four. And regarding Nepal, uh, this 900 megawatt uh, will be in second quarter of uh, uh, this uh, uh, next year. So this is the 526, right, sir? 900 megawatt? Um, in uh, October, November of 2025. Understood, sir. Thank you and all the best, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Apurva Bahadur from Goldman Sachs. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi, sir. Uh, you mentioned that you're planning a QIP of LCEL this year. Uh, so any uh, sort of uh, uh, understanding that you can provide on uh, what what would be the size of this uh, offering? Almost 10 to 15 percent, up to maximum 20 percent will be offering of the current equity in the year. Okay, so any any sense on size in terms of the amount that you're thinking? Uh, uh, it will be determined. I am not in a position to tell you immediately. Sure, sure. I understand that. Sir. Uh, so secondly, can can you throw some light on uh, the uh, incentive incomes in this quarter and also if there is any under recovery? Uh, incentive current year total incentive is 182 crore. Out of that capacity incentive is uh, 157.71 and the UI is 24.48 crore. Last year it was uh, total incentive was 253.92 crore. Out of that capacity incentive was 210.29 crore and the UI was 43.63 crore. Uh, the incentive, in fact, uh, after September, the government has put in restriction for operating the plant before, uh, above 100 percent. They are uh, earlier we were uh, operating the plant up, up to 110 percent, but now the restriction has been put. Uh, where we can only operate during the peak season, and uh, that's why there is uh, some less income on the incentive. So far, the current quarter is concerned. Current quarter, my total incentive is uh, for Q1 me 5 crore hai, jabki last year same Q1 me 24.45 crore tha. Only 5 crore in this quarter. Yeah, yeah. And this is all about the capacity. Yeah. Also, uh, mentioned about this. Uh, this, capacity, this, uh, uh, this capacity incentive. Uh, during the quarter was uh, 1.37 crore and UI was 3.66 crore. Last year capacity in, uh, incentive in the first quarter was 25.36 crore. Because our main high flow season has been declared by from, Jan, uh, from June to September. So that's why uh, we have dip in this uh, capacity charges. Incentive. Okay, sir. Any mention about this uh, restriction which the government had put on operating the plant beyond 100 uh, percent? So why was this the case? I mean, what's the rationale of the government for doing this? This is the new regulations given by the CRC. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. It is applicable to all uh, all the PCS, all PCS, hydro PCS. All PCS. In the PCS. Okay. Oh, yeah, no Understood, sir. Uh, 
sir uh, any under recovery that we witnessed this uh, in uh, this? no there is no under recovery but uh, we have not achieved the gain energy to in that case we have uh, claimed the 41 crore against the short uh, fall in the generation and, and that we have uh, that we have built to the beneficiaries and sir at an overall uh, for the full year uh, number what's the shortfall uh, uh, shortfall in energy generation uh, design energy yes sir yeah against the design energy uh against the 8533 uh, million unit we have recover, uh, we have generated 81 Three three eight one three one point three eight million units. Almost two hundred fifty million units. Sort sort for. And so we have built this entire amount. So it's all recorded yeah. in our revenues or. Yeah, it, is, it has been recorded in the revenue. Uh, we have built up forty one. Understood. So, so, so later uh, there is no uh, sort of a requirement of approval from the commission for recovering this. Uh, no, it is as per the regulation. It is as per the regulation. Understood, sir. Uh, thank you so much. I'll get back in the queue. Okay. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Aniket Mittal from SBI Mutual Fund. Please go ahead. Yes, thank you. So any financial statements I see a very Sorry large. Sorry to interrupt you, sir. May I uh, may I request you to use the answer, please? Yes, I am on the answer. Am I audible? Uh, yes, yes. Yes. Sir. Go ahead, but uh, be please loud. Sure, sir. In the uh, the depreciation and amortization line item, there seems to be a very big jump in this quarter. Uh, could you elaborate on that? In fact, we have uh, gone for the impairment of some of the assets like uh, Sarla Wind Power Project, Khirbure Wind Power Project, and Sharanka Wind Power Project. Uh, our uh, uh, revenue uh, commensurate with the capital investment was not uh, up to the uh, level, and that's why, uh, as per Index 36, we have gone for the impairment of the assets. And one total 138.70 crore has been booked to the uh, impairment. Okay. Uh, so could you explain the difference of the revenue not being commensurate to our expectations? Why, why is that? Uh, this tariff for the, in fact, uh, if you go, uh, this uh, tariff for this, mainly it is uh, on account of the Sadla Wind Power Project. This tariff of the Sadla Wind Power Project is 243, uh, 2.43 per unit. Whereas during the period it was commissioned in 1819, uh, the tariff was almost above 3 rupees. But somehow we were not having the PPA and uh, we were compelled to sign uh, PPA with the GUVNL at the lower tariff and that's why we have to uh, go for the impediment clause. And, uh, after doing exercise, it is coming to 101 crore in the uh, uh, Sadla project. Next year, can it reverse down? And uh, it can be reversed in the next year uh -huh. if situation will improve. And similarly, in Kilvire, uh, the design energy of the project was 85 million units, uh, but uh, it has not uh, touched the design energy. Uh, maximum generation has come to 73 million units. And it is our average generating per year 60 million units. So that's due to less generation of the project during, consistently during five, six years. We have to take uh, almost 10 years. We have to take the uh, impairment and uh, that's why uh, in Kirvire it is coming to 34.88 crore. Okay. Uh, the the other question was sir on Baksar. I understand earlier there were issues related to land acquisition that we were facing. What's the progress on that? Uh, you have rightly said that uh, we are facing we were facing land issues. The land issues is still going on, but uh, for uh, this uh, making this our project commissioning, we have gone for alternative arrangements. So with those alternative projects, we are uh, we will be capable to commission the project. Okay. 
So could you elaborate on that? Like, uh, what are the alternatives that we've gone for? Uh, what's the amount of land that we still need to acquire, if any? Uh, mainly, uh, this uh, uh, we we were facing problems like this agitation in railway corridor and water corridor. So for water corridor, uh, the government of Bihar has already given us the government land so that uh, we can uh, we can. Uh, 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 we can uh, lay the pipeline pipeline on that uh, uh, government land and for uh, this uh, uh, railway corridor we have uh, taken land some land from the uh, railways uh, uh, railways and some land we are uh, in the process of uh, in uh, having uh, uh, agreement with the uh, some uh, uh, stakeholders and uh, with this uh, 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 this with, with this arrangement we we are able, we will be able to run the project okay okay and lastly sir on the um, uh, on the arun 3 project uh, again timelines for them have, have kept on increasing uh, and i think there were some transmission related issues that we were facing over there could you elaborate a bit on that transmission related issues uh, actually we were uh, this only uh, uh, issue in transmission line is the land acquisition and uh, we are constantly constantly in touch with the uh, even uh, uh, higher offices of uh, nepal ministry we have uh, uh, we have we are also in touch with the uh, even uh, we have requested even prime minister of uh, nepal to help us in acquiring the uh, to expedite the land acquisition process so uh, with these uh, help from nepal government i think uh, uh, we will be able to uh, uh, commission the this transmission line well in time okay okay fair so those are my questions thank you thank you the next question is from the line of santosh kumar khinka an individual investor please go ahead you see in the last uh, conference call which held in uh, february the we, we get, you were given certain targets for baksar june 24 for arun 3 february 25 and for bikaner 1000 megawatt by december 2 2024 now i want to know whether there is any slippage in these uh, targets and what is the uh, re- re- renewed expect expectation of commissioning i just uh, answered uh, uh, the, you know, these questions uh, because of uh, agitation uh, by local farmers and, uh, and disruption in our plant activities the uh, Uh, this uh, baksar commissioning has uh, been slipped to 3 uh, 4 months uh, from june and uh, because of a challenge in uh, uh, dam area in uh, this arun 3 project see the uh, the commissioning target has slightly also slipped uh, further and uh, in bikaner projects so we were facing some problem with the panels local domestic panels so right. with this period with this uh, now i think uh, the, the situation will improve by will be getting panel from june itself and uh, uh, commissioning will be done in quarter uh, quarter 3 of this uh, uh, financial year of beacon or 1000 megawatt i see thank you i have to ask the only this question thank you the next question is from the line of arman from blue cap blue sky capital please go ahead Yeah, am I audible? Yes, yes, please. Hello. Yeah, uh, in the previous call, we told about the target of uh, in 2026 around 12,000 megawatts. Right now, in beginning, we told about 2,000 around we will be installing in this financial year and next financial year. So that comes to calculations around 6,500. So which are those projects which we are uh, which we will uh, operate in this? Uh, so at this financial year, next financial year, and why the gap? So before we have the target of twelve thousand megawatt, and now it's only coming up to six thousand five hundred. What's the reason behind that? In fact, uh, there is a uh, slippage in the one thousand megawatt Bikaner project and uh, Arun three and uh, this Bakshar. mainly because of the that we are uh, lagging behind but uh, this slippage will be only for 5 6 months so we will be covering uh, almost 12000 megawatt by the march 26 okay uh, and uh, one more reason just uh, just a uh, perspective is that 
we are seeing the appointment of cmd not for for the years like for four years or five five years it it has been going on for the three months why is the reason for that and when can we see a continuous tenor for five years also regular for the cmd position in fact the cmd post selection has already been done and uh, in, in the meantime this uh, charge has been given for the three months and uh, we are expecting ki within the three months the regular appointment will be issued order will be issued from the minister of power okay 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 thank you thank you thank you the next question is from the line of vipul kumar shah from sumangal investment please go ahead I said my question is regarding peak debt. You said uh, we will reach 12,000 megawatt by two, March 2026. So at that time, what will be our uh, 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 peak debt? Peak debt. Can you repeat the question? That he is asking about the by March 2026. Uh, what will be our peak debt? Uh, we will be intimating you separately. Separately. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. We will be intimating separately. Uh, separately. separately after calculating uh, our uh, this uh, uh, debt 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 uh, provision. No, my concern is it will be sizable amount and uh, your project. Uh, so many projects are uh, facing delays in commissioning. So. how will you service uh, such a large debt and, and when your current revenue base is relatively small uh, in comparison to the projects you have undertaken uh, in fact uh, during the construction we have to pay the interest only not the repayment of the principal amount and that we are having sufficient projection uh, we will share also in fact it was on our uh, it was on our website also and uh, uh, the many of the project in uh, renewable sector we are commissioning in next uh, year and from that uh, revenue generation will come to do, we are not seeing any problem in the ser- servicing of the debt so one small suggestion sir why don't you put a detailed presentation where each project uh, when it will be implemented plus what will be the funding requirement for each project so that will be really helpful uh in fact uh, if you require we will share but uh, take matlab uh, sharing this on the website for each project it will be very lengthy what uh, i think one of your peers uh, already does it project wise uh, schedule and so Uh, this is a suggestion just think over it sir okay okay oh, okay we'll think of construction point. and uh, whom should i contact regarding this debt figure sir okay pardon pardon can you repeat the question no no my question regarding debt you said you will come separately on that so uh, i should take uh, it uh, with somebody in your uh, finance department offline okay okay Okay, you can do so, and you can have my number, company secretary's number, and you can put your question so that I can get it uh, replied by our finance uh, department. What's your good name, sir? My name is Somendra Das, company secretary. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Mohit Surana from Monaj Network Capital Limited. Please go ahead. Good evening, sir. Am I audible? Yes, yes. Yes. Just please speak loudly. Sure. So my first question is with respect to the exceptional item in the income statement. Uh, there is a hundred four crore gain uh, shown as an exceptional item for this quarter. Uh, can you elaborate on that? Uh, the reason for that? In fact, uh, uh, there was one arbitration award against the Nafa Hagri project. and that award was against the us we have provided it in the account and uh, as per our accounting policy but uh, uh, we have challenged it in the court of law and high court, high court and the high court uh, single judge, uh, judgment was uh, in favor of us 
and the petition the uh, other party challenged in the double bench and this uh, was again uh, uh, decided in our favor so we have uh, the provision we have made in the during the past we have received uh, reverses and now we have taken considered the exceptional item understood understood sir you uh, there is also an exchange notification of uh, lkv and forming a jd with uh, indian oil corporation Uh, yes. Can you just elaborate on uh, what kind of business we intend to do with them? Uh, I think this is related to green RTC. Yeah. So yeah. Can you just give your thoughts on that? In fact, uh, IOCL is a it's a, in itself as a uh, consumer. Uh, they need lot of power, and they have also target to become the net zero. and uh, we venture into the green sector, and the, with our. Uh, uh, collaboration 50 50% uh, joint venture partnership we will be able to uh, take more investment in the project in hydro also or in and renewable also plus uh, hydrogen sector also will go jointly the, there will be lot of opportunity and even in the sector of the ev charging uh, etc we will be jointly uh, Uh, co- collaborating with each other, and the IOCL has a uh, big size of balance sheet. Uh, it will be it will be a very good win-win situation for both of us. 50-50. So this JV will uh, um, will be into uh, green energy, and uh, apart from that, it will also be involved in uh, power generation, yeah, power generation green hydrogen space as well. Yeah. Yeah. And, so uh, any timeline when uh, uh, when we can see some traction on the business activities in this jd uh, in fact uh, there is a process of uh, taking a pro- before going as any business uh, activity we have to take approval from the deepam and niti aayog niti aayog uh it will uh, almost 2 to 3 months time will be taken in that and after that uh, we will start activity we will the company uh, uh, then we will uh, after approval of the department niti aayog we will incorporate the company and we will start the activity and they are very much interested in pump storage also and uh, uh, in fact uh, they can only be net zero with the uh, their venture in the renewable sector So we will be trying to uh, invest uh, like uh, in other hydro project, big hydro project like Italian. We are uh, having three uh, thousand megawatt, three thousand ninety-seven megawatt in Arunachal. We can uh, uh, try to develop it uh, with their collaboration also. Understood, sir. So uh, regarding uh, our uh, renewable energy portfolio, uh, solar and wind currently is around four hundred five megawatt. Uh, on a combined basis uh, which is the yeah. operational capacity right now yeah. so what is our target for uh, the end of fy 25 26 and 27 for the next 3 years only the solar and wind portfolio combined yeah in fact 2000 megawatt will be coming during uh, current year really uh, 24 25 and uh, yeah. almost 6000 megawatt will be against uh, next year 25 26 and this is So uh, and and for 27 FY 27 FY 27 I have to work out this. Okay. Under. Yeah, yeah. But it will be more than two gigawatt. We are yeah, approximately two gigawatt every year. We are we are adding uh, approximately two gigawatt every year. Under. So just one last question, sir. Um, we just wanted to confirm. Uh, I I think you already mentioned, but with the Arun Three and Buxar project. Both these projects will be commissioned by this year, right? So uh, Arunthi, you mentioned quarter two of this fiscal year, and Buxar uh, by either quarter three and quarter four of this fiscal year. Is that correct? Arunthi, uh, October, November, next twenty-five. Uh, in fact, not fiscal. Uh, this fiscal year, Arunthi will be going to the second quarter of the or uh, third quarter of the next year, twenty-five, twenty-six. But Buxar will be in uh, 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 second or third uh, third or fourth uh, quarter. Third and fourth quarter. Right. First year in third third quarter. Four, second year in fourth fourth quarter. Of current year. Of this fiscal year, FY twenty five. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Understood, sir. Thank you so much. It will be twenty six. FY twenty six. Twenty five. Twenty six.
Got it. Sir, just one, one last question. Um, regarding your regulated equity, sir, how much is the total regulated equity at this point and how much uh, uh, would it be in, uh, by FY26? सोलर इज हाउ मच वन फोर नाइन फोर करोड़ ओके सर टोटल सेवन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी एट करोड़ ये अंडर कंस्ट्रक्शन वाला की है ऑलरेडी जो ऑपरेशन में है उसका टोटल इक्विटी जो है सेवन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड फोर्टी फोर्टी फोर करोड़ है फोर्टी करोड़ सर कॉन्ट्रेक्ट The total, agar if we consider both operation and under construction, the total regulated equity is fifteen thousand four thirty eight crore. All right. In the uh, in in solar projects, um, we earn an ROE of at least twelve percent. Is that correct? Yeah. So I mean, there have been. Um, But there are, there may be few projects where it will be one two projects will be around ten percent, but in few projects it will be more than fifteen percent or around fifteen percent also. Average will be around twelve percent. Understood, sir. Thank you so much. That. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Bharani from Avendis Capital Private Limited. Please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, I just want to clarify that uh, for the operational capacity, you mentioned the equity is seven thousand four forty crore, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what is the split between uh, equity in uh, renewables and the regulated equity in uh, hydro? Of this, six thousand thirty eight crore is the in the hydro, and solar will be fourteen hundred two crore. Okay. And uh, of the 7.2 gigawatt pipeline of uh, uh, renewable projects you mentioned, uh, does it include the uh, 2.2 gigawatt of projects uh, that we won in FY24? Yes. Okay. And um, so all the uh, equity required for uh, this 7.2 gigawatt uh, is what you just mentioned, which is 1,494 crore. Is it right? Yeah, right. Uh, 15 and 15, uh, 15,438 crore. That is total equity you mentioned. I'm talking uh, about the equity required for the 7.2 gigawatt pipeline. 7.2 gigawatt. In fact, uh, I think it will be the lesser side um, because uh, out of 7.2, 2,000 megawatt is under construction and. Uh, Oh, okay, so the fifteen thousand four thirty eight includes only for the under construction capacity. Under construction, under construction um, excludes the uh, ones with you know where only tendering has happened. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so for the uh, projects which are in the tendering stage, how much equity will be required? Sir? I'll be intimating separately. Okay. okay. And uh, what is your total capex uh, expectation in FY25 and 26? Almost FY25, 12,000 crore, and almost similar amount or about 12,000, 13,000 crore in the FY26 also. Okay. And uh, my final question is: uh, Can you give the split of this uh, capacity addition in FY25, like uh, say between uh, hydro, thermal, and uh, renewables? Thank you. 
ट्वेंटी मेगावाट टू थर्मल दे इज नो कैपेसिटी एडिशन इन इन दी हाइड्रो एंड टोटल पी एट वन एट मेगावाट कैपेसिटी इंक्लूडिंग सोलर विंडो टू फोर नाइन एट ओके सो टू फोर नाइन एट प्लस थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड डेट थ्री थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड ऑट फॉर एफ ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके कैन यू ऑल्सो गिव सिमुलर स्विच फॉर एफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स थर्मल हाइड्रो एंड रिन्यूएबल हाइड्रो विल बी एलेवन सेवेंटी सिक्स एंड सोलर विंड विल बी फोर थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी टोटल फाइव फाइव जीरो सिक्स ओके दैट इज फ्रॉम एफेक्ट थैंक्स एंड ऑल द बेस्ट Thank you. The next follow-up question is from the line of Mohit Kumar from ICICI Securities. Please go ahead. Hi. Thanks for the opportunity. Thanks for the opportunity once again. My question is on the 1176 megawatt which you mentioned just right now. 700 700 megawatt is your Arun three. What is the balance? Again, this 2526. Yes, 2526. I'll have a look. So my second question: Any clarity on the timelines for PPA for the Nepal power plant? Oh, we are expecting it within this year will be concluded. As within two three months will be concluded. Understood. Sir. My last question is: Do you think uh, is any update on the bomb destroyed power plant? Bomb destroyed. Do you think you can tender some? Sorry, to point you. Do you think that you can tender anything in this Cisco? The uh, bomb storage. No. Oh, no. in fact, it is in the survey investigation only. Uh, so we will be completing survey investigation, uh, or it will be in the process. So this year, we are not going to have any uh, tender for the construction start of construction of the PSP project. Next year, can I expect something in next year, sir? Next year we can. Uh, we Next can. year we can have uh, because we have to. We are right now we we are in the process of uh, preparing DPR for 2400 uh, mega megawatt uh, PSP in Mizoram. So uh, it will take one and a half year. Then uh, after that we we will be able to award the project. And our joint venture with the Maharashtra also there are few projects where we can uh, have there are already projects are under operation. And one dam is there. We can have some uh, uh, renovation, renovation, etc. And, et and uh, we can go for the PSP. It will take some time, but uh, it may be in the fiscal year 25, 26. 25, 26. We will have some good numbers for PSP. Thanks, sir. Do you are looking to award any regular hydro power plant in FY25? FY25. Five twenty-five. Yes, lower around six sixty-nine megawatt, and the Italian uh, project three zero nine seven megawatt. You can repeat the megawatt number again, sir. Six sixty-nine around lower around in Nepal. In Nepal, six six nine. Six hundred. Lower around. And three zero nine seven megawatt uh, Italian project in, uh, in Arunachal Pradesh. So are the EPC tender out for this uh, yeah, this, yeah. this project? Yeah. Understood. Sir. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Lower around within a month or two, it will be tender will be issued, and the Italian it will take six months or almost nine months or twelve months to issue the tender. Are you thinking about in a single package or some multiple packages? I will be multiple packages. Understood. Sir. Thank you. All the best. Thank. You. Decided. Yeah. Thank you, sir. On the way. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Ragini Pandey from Elara Capital. Please go ahead. Ah, uh, yeah. Hello. Uh, 
so what would be your adjusted profit for quarter four and by twenty four and for fiscal twenty four? Please repeat adjusted profit for uh, this quarter and for fiscal twenty four. Adjusted uh, you are not adjusted profit. You are saying yes, sir. What do you mean by what? What do you mean by adjusted profit? Can you please slightly uh, elaborate? Sir, so after factoring in the non-recurring items. No, no, in PNB, no recurring item in the PNB. In fact, there is no recurring item in the PNB. Only recurring item. Only recurring item. Only recurring item is there. Non recurring. There is no non recurring item. Okay. And so, what was the plant availability factor for your uh, power plus for your hydro plus? Almost, it will be hundred percent. Uh, okay. And sir, uh, with respect to RE projects, what is the status on land and transmission availability? Uh, almost we are expecting to. Now uh, this transmission line, we are uh, expecting that uh, we will uh, completing this uh, land acquisition in another three to four months. So uh, we are, uh, as I earlier said, we are taking the matter to the highest authorities in the Nepal. Uh, whether it is IBN or uh, this NEA or uh, other, uh, even Chief Secretary, we are uh, requesting for this uh, support on land acquisition, and they are fully committed that uh, they will make some uh, uh, this concerted efforts to uh, this uh, give land to us from uh, this uh, uh, private owners. Uh, okay, sir. Thank you. That's it from my side. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll take this as the last questions, and I'll hand the conference over to Mr. Rupesh Sanke for closing comments. Yeah, thank you. We thank uh, HJN Management uh, for giving us an opportunity uh, to host this call. Uh, we also thank all the investors and journalists for joining this call. Uh, good day and take care. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. On behalf of Alara Securities Private Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us, and you may now disconnect your lines. Thank you. <laughs>